Kidney infection is one of a number of infections that can involve the urinary tract. If treated early and adequately, kidney infection generally has a good outcome. We spoke with Dr. Rudolfo Batarsi of Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs to learn the signs and symptoms. Kidney infection essentially is, is a term that's used to encompass any type of infection that, that, that affects the entire urinary system. It could be kidney, it could be uterus, the tubes that connect the kidneys to the bladder, bladder infection, or uh, the urethra, which takes the urine from the bladder outside of the body. Most of the time, people call it the abbreviation UTI, or urinary tract infection. Regardless of gender, whether you're a man or a woman, tend to be pain on urination, frequency, so you're going to the bathroom five, six, seven times a day, when before you might go twice. The amount of urine that it's actually expelled every time you void, the quantity is a lot less. The urine can smell quite bad. You could feel general malaise. You're kind of beat up and tired. You just don't feel right. And it could be accompanied by fever. The true diagnosis is clinical and uh, biochemical, which would be a urine test. Uh, urinary tract infections are much more common in women than they are in men because the urethra is much shorter. So the uh, opportunity for bacteria from the skin to enter through the urethra into the bladder is much higher. In a woman without any surgeries to the bladder or any other type of abdominal surgery, even symptomatology, I have a fever, it hurts to urinate, my, my urine smells bad, usually clinically that's enough to prescribe an antibiotic. And the antibiotic courses are short. Three days is usually enough for what we call an uncomplicated urinary tract infection. If you're a male or male or female that has had urinary um, uh, surgeries or have another type of comorbidity like severe diabetes, recurrent urinary tract infections or immunosuppression, that is called a complicated urinary tract infection. And there you do need to have a urine sample to actually grow out that bacteria and to make sure that bacteria is sensitive to the antibiotic that has been prescribed. And the course of treatment is much longer, 10, 14 days, sometimes even longer. Dr. Batarsi talks about treatment for the infection. Antibiotics are, are, are usually by far take care of most of them. If you have kidney stones, uh, if you have uh, abnormal anatomy, one kidney is bigger than the other, you have a kink in your uterus, you've had treatment or surgery to the uterus, you have a stent in one of your kidneys. Again, you, are, you have immunosuppression, you're a transmit recipient, or you're having chemotherapy, or you're having uh, immunosuppression for an autoimmune disease. All these things lower the immune system, more likely to have not only a urinary tract infection, but perhaps a more serious one. Kidney infections can, can be recurrent for a number of different reasons. The most common one being in, in women, especially young women, but in women of any age, is the fact, again, that the urethra is so short that any bacteria from outside the body, from the skin, can come in. So hygiene is a big deal. Um, people that go into, uh, take baths for a long time, they have stagnant water, can predispose them to things of this nature. So proper hygiene is of utmost importance. If the, uh, the treatment of an uncomplicated urinary tract infection is not long enough or there happens to be a resistant bacteria or a bacteria that's more aggressive then let's just call it the common offenders, then that bacteria can reinfect again and that's when you need a urine test not only to diagnose and, and to really grow out the specific bacteria but to know that you're given the right antibiotic with the correct sensitivities.